Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to do the Futurama review on the episode called T the Terrestrial. All right, and so this episode is about when Fry crash lands into Omexian Persia 8 after a horrific accident happens. He reunites with the alien named Jer. He is the son of Lur. And then Fry has to hide so Lur, the father, doesn't find out that he's in their planet. Otherwise, the father's gonna kill him. Or worse, make his son kill Fry because he's trying to teach his son how to invade a planet. And meanwhile, Bender sits on the search to go look for Fry after feeling pretty guilty about leaving him up in the planet. So here comes Bender trying to save the day. My thoughts on this episode, it's very good. It's a very good episode. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I thought the plot to this episode, it was good for what how it was written. It's a little bit strange. I thought the storyline to this episode was good. I thought it was enjoyable. I thought how it was put together was overall not too bad for the most part. And I just had a fun time with this episode. The humor overall, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really laugh in the first half of the episode. While the episode was good and while it was enjoyable, I just didn't really get a laugh out of there. I chuckled a couple of times, but not really it. When the second half of this episode came though, I got some very good laughs. Holy crap, the funniest part of this episode and it has the title T the terrestrial for a reason oh my goodness you guys the ET reference in this episode is just hysterical it's stupid it's random but oh my goodness it was just I couldn't stop laughing that was the most hilarious part of the whole episode. The way they just reference E.T., they did a few times in the second half of the episode, and I just thought it was handled so well. It's very dumb, yes, it's very, very dumb. There were actually a couple of times where I slapped my hand across the face, and I'm like, oh, dear goodness, but in a good way, and <laughs> it was just the stupidity of how they referenced E.T. was just so great. But it was handled very clever at the same time. And I liked how they just did that. So I got to give props to the writers on how they did the whole E.T. reference. Not only was it stupid, random, but made me laugh so hard. But I just thought it was handled really nicely. The problems I have with this episode, though, I do think the episode is a little choppy sometimes. A few times in the episode, I could get a little bored, like, I'm all like, okay, this is kind of dragging on a little bit too long, let's kind of pick up the pace here. And the ending to the episode, it was stupid, it was funny, but I thought it ended a little bit too strange, and at one point, I liked it. But at the other point, I'm all like, okay, this is getting a little too strange right here. It's a clever but very stupid episode at the same time. But I really like it, though. I think it's handled well. I thought it's written nicely, written decently. Not the season's best, but I still think it's one hell of a fun episode. So I'm going to actually give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. Subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter. Comment your opinion on this Futurama episode. And don't forget that I will always have Taga Power!